All right, this is a video tutorial on how to log into Canvas. Uh, first off, what you want to do is use a web browser. A web browser is the application you use to access the internet. You want to use uh, Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, uh, whatever Respondents Lockdown Browser is, not sure what that is, or Safari. Safari is if you have an Apple computer, it comes uh, pre-installed with that. Uh, if you don't have Chrome or Firefox, you can go ahead and do a search for that Chrome download. Firefox download and you can download those from there. If you're using Internet Explorer, Canvas is not supported. Canvas will not work uh, properly if you're using Internet Explorer. If the way you access on the, access the Internet is by clicking somewhere that has a E, blue E with a yellow ring around it, it's not going to work. That's Internet Explorer. Do not use that one. Here are the ones you want to use. Here's Google Chrome. The icon looks like this. You're good. Here's Firefox. The icon looks like that. You're good. Uh, there's Microsoft Edge. If it's a blue E, as long as there's no yellow, you're good to go. You're okay. And then there's Safari, the Compass, if you have an Apple computer. Uh, it's a best practice. I would just stick to one of these three right here. I use Google Chrome myself, just my personal preference. I've never used Firefox before. I've seen it installed on computers, but just I've never used it. My preference is just Google Chrome. <clears throat> All right. So here I'm using Google Chrome. Uh, to go to the website, the address is rsccd. That's for the district there. Rancho Santiago, Santiago uh, College Community District, or whatever, uh, dot and structure, oops, dot com. Notice there's no spaces there, no spaces at all. Everything's together, one word, and then enter. If that's too hard to remember, because it is a little tricky, you're going to do a search for RSCCD space canvas, enter. Canvas, that's the name of the, uh, the platform there, and should have the address right there, rsccd.instructure.com. Make sure it's rsccd, not rccd, or rssd or something like that. Make sure it's rsccd. There we go. So I'm going to log in right here. I'm going to use my web advisor ID. Remember, your web advisor is the uh, information used to log into the physical computers in class. If you're taking a class here um, at Santiago County College Continuing Education. Put your first initial, last initial, then five numbers. Not sure what those five numbers are. It's up to you on whatever you use to get in. Uh, your password, whatever password you created. The default password is usually the your birthday. It's the first three letters of the month you were born, with the first letter being uppercase. Just the first three letters and first letter uppercase. Then the two-digit day, and then the four-digit year. So let me try to log in right here. Punch in a password. And then click login. <clears throat> Invalid username or password. Okay, let me try this again. All right, here we go. Uh, so just like that, I got an error and I just tried it again. Maybe I type something in there wrong. Uh, acceptable use policy. Accept, acceptable use policy. Either you're a new user or the acceptable use policy has changed since you last ag agreed to it. Please agree to the acceptable use policy before you continue. All right. Agree. You can read it. But So this is my, uh, my Canvas account. Maybe yours um, only has one class in there. Might have more. These are a bunch of classes that, um, that I teach and that I'm... Uh, also enrolled in or was enrolled in. Uh, to the left, I can click on account and get information on myself. Uh, it's currently the dashboard where I select my classes. I can also select them individually through courses. So here they are. Here's my calendar, a to-do list. Here's an inbox, uh, comments, help. I don't really use these down here. I do check my inbox periodically. All right, so courses, go back over to dashboard. So I'm gonna select a class. Let me go with this one right here. Intro to keyboarding and basic windows. You select whatever class you're in. Uh, so this is how I set up my classes. My colleagues, maybe they make them different. But this is my homepage. My homepage should look something like this. There's a banner up top. Uh, tells you what class it is in the banner and down there as well. And these are buttons. So you can click on these to navigate through the course. And then down here, I got a footer. All right, so I'm going to go over to student view so you can see what, the, what how you guys see instead of me. Because um, I've had all these for you. Uh, these aren't all necessary. They're just... Looks overwhelming, might confuse you. So I just limited you guys to these. All right, student view. There we go. This is my, uh, my student view or your view. 
Uh, you can click right here and start here, telling you to click there. There you go, this is the intro page. There's the banner and a video about me. Tells you about me, uh, services from the school, late policy redemption over to next. So remember there's only temporary, uh, syllabus right there. Next, uh, an etiquette policy. So please uh, be polite and professional with your classmates. Academic uh, honesty policy. We're not writing, writing papers here, uh, or are we? But um, please don't try to plagiarize or steal anybody uh, else's work. Uh, resource pages, a uh, resource page. So uh, Canvas support, academic support, uh, student equity services, uh, video tutorials, how to use Canvas, how to log in. Let's click on next. Here's a discussion. Uh, you can you can get points just by uh, participating in the discussion. You can just ask a question here, like, hey, how's everybody doing? You know, uh, does everybody have enough toilet paper? Because I don't. I went to Costco and they're already sold out. Uh, here's unit one. Here's unit one. Each of these pages that I'm clicking on, these are all called modules. When you go back to the home page, the home right here. So I can click on start here and it'll start me on the first module. I have to progress all the way through. But if I want to jump through the modules, I can click on module right here. Modules. Uh, so here's the first unit, unit zero. There's the welcome, the first one from when you click uh, start here. But I can individually select these here. Uh, here is one on how to install uh, Microsoft Office 365, free for students using your student email. Uh, there it is. Uh, so there is an assignment. You can get participation points for um, Coming into this assignment, where's the submit button? Oops, forgot to add a submit button. So um, it's supposed to be a submit button. I'll add it in there. Uh, you would click up here in the upper right -hand corner so you can submit your project. Okay, let's say you want to participate by submitting an assignment. You can click on assignments here or there. If there's, a, uh, if there's an assignment button there, uh, depending on my class, there may or may not be an assignment button. If there's not an assignment button there, then there's going to be one up here. Assignments. You also find them in the modules. You'll get a list of the assignments that are available. So I'm going to go with the uh, this one right here, installing Microsoft Office 365, free for students. If you have a student email here at Santiago Canyon College or Santa Ana College, you can use that email account to create um, a Microsoft Office uh, account and get a free download. It installed on, I think, two PCs. Here's a format for uh, here's a format for your student email. It's your web advisor ID. So the first um, uh, two letters, the first initial, last initial, just how you logged into the uh, class, logged into Canvas. Uh, same way you log into the computers in the physical class. You're going to use that, that, um, that username. And then at student, and depending on what school you go to or what school you signed up at, if you're signing at a college, it's going to be sac.edu. But if you're at Santiago Canyon College, it's going to be uh, secollege.edu. So your web advisor ID at student.sccollege.edu. Uh, you might be tempted to add an extra C in there. You might miss an L in there. So be careful with that. And your password, same password you use to log into Canvas. Same password you use to log into the computers. Uh, here it is. Click here to visit the school's webpage on how to download and install Microsoft Windows. Microsoft Office 365. So there we go. That opened up another tab. I can just click in there and start logging in. I can watch these video tutorials on how to do that. Here's the instructions. Follow the video tutorials from the link on how to install Microsoft Office 365 on, um, onto your PC. You can click on that, then you can install it. Then after installing, um, hit the submit button at the top of the page. So all the, so all the submit buttons, they're gonna be at the top of the page. Oops, I got out of the student view. I'm gonna switch back over. All right, there's a submit button there at the top. Submit assignment. Click on that. Boom, now I got this text entry box here. Uh, text entry box will then appear at the bottom. So having all, uh, Microsoft Office 365 on your PC, that's for your own benefit. It also uh, will help you participate in the class if you want to do activities. Uh, it gives you more practice because with Microsoft Office 365, you will get Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and some other applications as well. So down here, I just asked for you guys to do this. Uh, inside of the text entry box, type in one thing you're grateful for. Remember remember to keep it professional. For example, I am thankful for In-N-Out Burger still being open. I'm very thankful for that. If I can type that in there or something else. I am thankful 
for high performance vehicles. There we go. Then hit submit. Let me scroll down. Submit assignment. Cool. And it's submitted. Submitted. Submission details. Uh, resubmit assignment if you like. So there you go. So I got participant patient points for that. And go to the next one. And see what the next assignment is. There you go. And I can participate that way. Oh, uh, the discussions. Just go over to discussions. And here's a list of discussions. And click on all sections. Or um, on that right there. There's a Q&A. Let's see here. Hi. How do I log into Canvas? If you're asking a question like this, well, it'd be definitely weird since you're already logged into Canvas, right? <laughs> post reply. So I'm replying to the post there. There it is, test student. And I can reply to this one as well. And I can reply to somebody else's. Uh, sometimes there's a like icon. You can do that as well. Let's see. Let's visit. Uh, RSCC dope dot in structure oops structure dot com post reply uh, if you want to know how to upload a picture it's going to be right here click on that picture icon embed image and then you got to go over to canvas and then you click on upload down here it's deactivated for the test one we click on upload and then you'll find uh, you'll get a file explorer window you can upload images from your computer or you go to Flickr, you can find stuff from there too. Cute puppies. And oops. There we go. Popoise? Pop not pop not sure what that is. Oh, look at this one. There we go. Middle of a puppy. And somewhere down here is the uh, submit button. But this pink bar is in my way. But if I were to click that, let me see if I can make this smaller. Can I move it? Uh, there we go. Update. There we go. Bam. Post reply. You got yourself a cute dog in there. Awesome. All right. So if you guys have any questions, you know where to reach out to me. Have an awesome day.